Welcome back to another painting session. No, I just like the last video. I'll be doing another gemstone type painting. And for today's painting, it will be based on the gemstone of, uh, let me see if I could pronounce this right, uh, Shugi Light. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Or uh, Suji Light. Suji Light? Uh, I don't know. It, I'll put up a picture now. Uh, so you can see, I'll have a few angles, polished, raw, what have you. Um, but for the location, I have a particular location I have for this one. And it is a mine that this place is harvested from. And it is in, I believe it is near uh, Quebec in Canada. And it is Mont saint Hilaire. That is where it will be from, or Mountain uh, of saint Hilaire. That is where this painting will be based on. Of course, it will be greatly exaggerated. Now, below that mountain is a little quaint little town. Uh, it, perhaps it's by the same name, perhaps not. I did not research that deeply into it, um, but I will have a picture up. It's uh, very rare when I have paintings based on, or even a little bit based on a photo, but this is a strange exception, though I have greatly exaggerated it. As you would see from the photo, there is, let me put it up, there's a little spire here of a church tower. And I have many of those, with uh, spires and whatnot, and sometimes beside them will be some crags of shugilite uh, among the trees. There'll be a lot, a lot of trees, and above all of that will be the mountains. Also, um, very purple, that would be the main theme. Violet, purple, some, magenta, and pink, not a lot, but some. And that is the plan. I will have a very dark sky, but a very bright sun here, uh, merging in. It'd be very misty to shroud the spires and the trees. There will also be a rapid flowing river with crags rested upon it with a beach of stones and bigger rocks of a similar material. Of course, more gray and uh, more vapid, uh, m more drained of color. But some will have uh, some veins of very deep colors. And the planets will have a lot of color in them, a lot of deep purples. Uh, same with some of the spires. Um, there'll be clouds, mist, whatnot. Uh, but I do plan to have a little twist to it. I do plan to have some neon paint in there. Now, I have researched a tiny bit, regret regrettably, um, but enough to be very unsure on whether sugar light is actually uh, receptive to UV light, if it can glow under black light. Of course, I don't have a gemstone, uh, a sugar light gemstone with me, so I cannot test that. But just looking at it, it would seem that it very well might, maybe a very uh, bright purple or uh, a pink. Um, and even if it doesn't, it's still a nifty thing to put in there. Something I haven't done in a while, UV, uh, especially in this quantity. I'll have it in the stones, in the little veins that I'll be making. And I'll use it fairly sparingly. I'll put it some in the planets, stars, comets, uh, there'll be hidden comets, and there'll be actually uh, normal comets full of color, and then the ones with neon, same with the stars. Um, the spires will also have tiny little stripes of the neon, so it'll be hidden everywhere. The things I haven't done before, a hidden neon factor to a painting, uh, where before you can kind of tell where it is because I match it with the color, similar to my Misty Gateway painting where you would know where the color is. Uh, except for uh, the fireflies. <clears throat> but if you have not watched that video, I would highly suggest that you do so. But onto this painting, other than what the sketch is shown here, I will have the planets as you see here. But that's all the real changes that I've made from the sketch. I would try to make it uh, as close to the sketch as I can. But I think I'll do a really good job on it. I'll have some reflection of the stones, uh, some foam next to them. But yeah, I think I'll do a good job on this one. 
high hopes. Uh, just like the last big painting, this will uh, challenge me for more detailed work, uh, more sharp colors and sharp um, transitions, like the veins I will be using for the stones, something I have uh, not been doing a lot or more than I should have. I will try my best to do something like that. Uh, it won't just be uh, like a very blank stone. I'll make it have character to it. That is my goal for this painting. Now for the hills, those will be bland as the roofs, uh, hills, they are quite bland in their color. They don't have any much going on. Uh, though I might have some green in there. If not, it will just be some uh, transitioning purples into the sun here. But enough of me rambling, I think. I believe it is time for me to get started on this painting. I hope that you'll drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it. Same with commenting what you like and what you don't like on this video whenever it's done or even now. And uh, ultimately, you could just subscribe to the channel if you like what I do, spray painting videos. But with that out of the way, I will now begin the time lapse. Enjoy.
And this is the finished product. Now, I'm fairly uh, proud of how this painting turned out. Uh, not really any notable issues with it, as far as I could see. But there is a notable change I would like to make if ever I would like to make mist or fog again. And that is that these little wisps, they're a bit too sharp. I should have had much, uh, much less sharper mists and clouds, except for the sky themselves. Um, like this is fine, this is good. When it wraps around the spires, that's all right. But it's too much. I shouldn't have had that many of them. I should have made it a bit more blurred. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have... It, it, yeah, it's just too sharp. It's too sudden. It makes it stand out much more than it should. So it's just something that I'll have to change. Especially with this. It doesn't... Uh, it, it's too much. Especially with how I make the water ripples. Uh, with the same color as well. It's just a bit too much. Uh, for me, anyway. Uh, maybe for you all, you could look past it. It's just... Something for me that I would rather not do in the future. But I'll show y'all a sketch that this is based off, like I did in the beginning of the video. Now I made the stones a bit brighter than what sugar light uh, really is. It is a very deep purple, as you saw from the image in the beginning. Um, but I did add some flares to it, like the magenta here for the neon and a bit of white for the gloss of light uh, some reflections there or just a shininess if you will the spires the spires themselves i think i did fairly good i'm very proud of how they turned out i did not think they were going to be as straight as they are i thought they were going to be very crooked uh, they were not like that i am very very proud of how they turned out they kind of look like um uh, uh, the one from Harry Potter, like these two, but yeah, very proud of them, very happy with them. It's been a while since I've made buildings like this, uh, or at all really, except for nature, and perhaps I'll make even more of them, maybe uh, more buildings are soon to come, and I'll get much, much better at them. And they do add a particular feel to them, especially with the spires here, they wrap around, or rather the fog wraps around them. And I think that's a good touch to it all. Uh, the purple, I think I used fairly well. The green as well, making the cliffs here. One thing I, I think I did very well is I made the mountains very distant um, from everything else, but make it have a grandeur towards them, uh, especially with how much I used the mist. If there's one thing I did well with the mist, I made it blur here and in the sky. And that's what matters for this because it's far away. I needed it to look blurred as it is far away. Uh, I needed that depth. That's why I had the fog in the first place to add a particular type of depth that I did in previous paintings. And I think I did that just fine. I'm very proud with all of that. Uh, this, the lower half could use some work. It shouldn't have been uh, so amplified um, or no fog here at all. The fog up close is fine, it's just here, in the lake. And the lake is a bit iffy. But the trees are fine, good layering. Uh, the rocks, the big rocks are good. The rocks themselves are fine. I uh, like the reflection, I did those fairly good. The planets, comets, are great. It's just that fog. That's the only thing I have an issue with. Um, but on to another matter of the painting, of course. It is neon activated and I will get my black light to show you all so let me just get this light turned off and this black light turned on so I could show you all what it looks like and hopefully the camera picks it up now anything that has just a tiny hint of pink it glows very well in the naked eye but for my camera it does not do that so much unfortunately so these two planets, very good. The comets and stars, very much so. The cliffs of the mountains. The stones. 
a bit of the lake as well. I'm just going to check the camera to see how much it's picking up. Not a lot, not a lot at all. I think I have a bigger one, a larger right here. So allow me to get to that. Now I think it's um, it's a bit uh, how do you say, it? weaker of a light, but it spreads much further. Now let's see if it picks it up. Eh, it does it a bit more. Like I said, the principle still stands. But if you can see the shine just a tiny bit on the camera. I can assure you that it looks very, very good in person. My camera just can't really pick it up all that much. Maybe with glow in the dark it can, but not really with UV lights. It just can't really pick up the light itself. And so it makes uh, the tr just picking up the light, and especially the activated glow of the paint from that light, a bit, uh, a bit iffy. So, I'm gonna turn that back on, put this away, and I have closing outros. Now, uh, I don't have gloss on this, because uh, I wanted a, uh, a flatter feel to it. Yeah, all in all, I think I did a very, very good job. I, I don't know what in particular I'm going to do next. I do plan to do a painting after this, a bigger painting, mind you. I like this one, another gym-oriented one. Um, uh, I do apologize for the gap in videos. Um, if you look at my other paintings, I'd be greatly appreciated of all of that. <clears throat> It'll make uh, the traffic to my channel a bit better so more people could watch what I do. Um, but if you did like this video as much as I do, then you could just like the video if you like it. Comment what you like, comment what you don't like, any compliments or criticisms I have not yet um, faced in this uh, in this video or you could ultimately subscribe to the channel if you like what I do uh, of course like I said previously you could watch other videos to see what I'm all about before you make that good decision but yeah all in all I don't know particularly what I'm gonna do next but whatever that may be I hope that all of you would accompany me on that next painting again whatever that may be I hope that all of you have again enjoyed today's painting session as long as it has been, and I hope to see you on that next painting. Bye-bye.